What's up, everyone? Welcome to Nicole Resp uh, <laughs> Welcome back to Nicole Responds. I am Nicole Respond. I am the jewelry expert here at Luxury Bazaar. I'm the girl that's gonna tell you what all the girls are thinking about, but won't actually say it out loud. I will say it out loud. For any and all jewelry inquiries, please visit me at Nicole Response or visit me at www.luxurybazaar.com. The glamour is back in all its sparkling drama as this year's movies bring out the A-listers, the actresses, the actors, the models, the 76th annual Cannes Film Festival. Diamonds galore, huge gemstones, looks worthy of princesses and princes. Celebrities bring gold to the silver screens, but this look deserves a bronze, or I mean blue. This lady wore a baby blue dress with blue mermaid-like hair. It was all a bunch of blue. Helen Mirren, more like hell no Mirren. <laughs> That's so lame. On the jewelry side of things, it wasn't anything special. A little diamond necklace, a little pair of earrings, but I'm still having PTSD over her crazy hair. <laughs> Elle Fanning wore a wonderful Alexander McQueen gown with a beautifully, beautifully beaded bodice. Bodice? Bodice. It was strapless, the beading, the crystals, it was Beautiful. She wore Cartier, modern and vintage jewels, a beautiful necklace, a bracelet to match. The diamond bracelet was circa 1930s, a cool art deco style. I dig it. The necklace was multi-strand, cute, cute. Like, we could, we could have done a little better, but all right. Like, especially with this huge gown, we could have done a little more. This whole outfit, I, I wouldn't choose to wear it. Maybe the top half of the outfit, but not the bottom half. The top was cool, the bottom, the tool was just unnecessary. But yes, the jewelry was understated, especially like with these big awards, it should be a huge piece that's like, worth it. Is it worth it? Not worth it. Next up, Alessandra, Alessandra, Alessandra Ambrioso. She is hot. She wore Pomolato's Skyline necklace and earrings. It was beautiful. It matched the dress. The dress worked with the necklace. The, the I'm just like talking too much with my hands. It all really just worked together. Together. This design was inspired by Milan's architectural landscape. It was hand set with 128 bezel cut spinels. It ranged from scarlet to azure blue. It was accented with pave diamonds with matching earrings to complete the entire look. This outfit looked great, minus the hood. What was the purpose of this hood? Never would I wear a hood to any fest festival, unless it was like Coachella. And even Coachella, then it would have to be bedazzled. Another pomelato look, Cindy Bruna, a little French model if you haven't heard of her. What did she wear? It was a pomelato link layer necklace with pave diamonds along with pave diamond earrings. She paired this look with a suit jacket like she was going to the office. It was very understated for me. Naomi Campbell wearing Chopard, Chopard high jewelry, diamond earrings, two bracelets and rings. The earrings were a very nice statement. They were dangly with three strands dangling around. Very nice, I must say. But her hair was covering it most of the time. Like you couldn't really see the amazingness of these earrings. And it sucks, like you're wearing these like multi thousand dollar earrings and you can't even see them. The cuffs on their own were nice, but they had absolutely no sense with each other. They just completely clashed, especially with their sequin dress. It was just a show all around. Too busy, too overwhelming. The whole outfit was just too much. Next. Another Chopard look, Uma Thurman. She wore a Chopard ruby choker necklace, ruby earrings, and diamond bracelet, but it made absolutely no sense in this look. Her dress was a nude gown with a red cape, red riding hood vibes, basically. This nude dress was too close to her skin tone, and on top of all of that, the rubies were just completely clashing with the red cape and the nude dress. It just looked completely wrong. Next up, Pom Clementif, just Wow, 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 wow. Look at that necklace. It was made by Cartier. The diamonds just incredible. The diamonds are perfectly inlaid. There are no prongs visible. It is smooth, beautiful, shimmery, and shiny. Everything is just spectacular. 
Like, it looks like it holds value, and that's the amazing part about it. it it's rich, it's shiny, it's sharp. Not many people can hand inlay diamonds to make them look like so wow. It's that's that's hard to do and make it look like amazing. For me, it's the craftsmanship that makes it oh, the wow factor. Because honestly, like you can take any type of necklace and throw on a ton of diamonds. It can look wow, but when you look like really into it, it's just, it holds no value. And the more you chop out a diamond, the more it decreases in its value. If you find if one fat rock of a diamond, that thing is worth a ton of money. While her necklace was beautiful, the dress looked like Barney. So Barney may love you, but I don't love this dress. Does everybody know the song Lady in Red? Cue the music. Lady in Red. Catherine Zeta-Jones, this beauty in red, <laughs> wearing a long, long red gown, and she wore rubies with it. This time, unlike Uma Thurman, the rubies looked beautiful. She looked like a goddess, a red goddess, I don't know, of hell. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. Maybe not, but I love her, I love her. Diamonds are like a flashy look. Gemstones you can pull off, really with many outfits. I mean, diamonds you could pull off with any outfit, but gemstones, like, since they, they have colors and stuff, it has, adds a different personality to it. So it's like, it could be a fancy piece of, fancy piece of ass, no. It could be a fancy piece of, you know, piece of jewelry, or it could be, you know, some chill little, like, beachy bracelet that a surfer dude is wearing, you know? Honestly, I think in this look, if she wore diamonds, it would probably pop and stand out more because she's wearing a red dress. The rubies actually kind of almost, like, disappear. Anything could be better. <laughs> Again, or you? No. Don't yell at me. I don't want to be yelled at. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for all the love. And don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this content, comment below and let me know who to roast next.